Number 10. Man's Best Friend, John Wick Audiences can watch people getting murdered in movies all day long. I heard you struck my son. Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, may I ask why? Yeah, well, because he stole John Wick's car, sir, and uh, killed his dog. But the moment a dog is harmed, well, that's a different story, damn it. What makes matters worse than John Wick is that the dog in question was a gift from his late wife. After gangster Yosef breaks into John's home and kills the poor pooch, the former assassin leaves retirement to get payback. He has to fight his way through dozens of henchmen before he finally catches up with Yosef. When they come face to face, John doesn't even let him finish his sentence, getting his revenge with cool efficiency. And that's why they call him Baba Yaga. Number 9. Time to Meet God, Sicario Vengeance isn't the driving force behind the plot of this action thriller, but it is the main motivation behind its most dangerous character. Alejandro was once a prosecutor before his wife and child were murdered by Fausto Alarcón, a cartel drug lord. His new life as an assassin eventually leads him to retribution. In a movie that's comprised of tense moments, the scene in which Alejandro gets revenge is one of the tensest. Alarcón thinks Alejandro is just there for him. But instead, Alejandro kills his family and lets Alarcón sit with that awful feeling before shooting him, too. It's a chilling scene that isn't soon forgotten. Number 8. I'm here to kill you, Unforgiven Will and Ned are retired outlaws, trying to walk the straight and narrow. However, after Will is tempted to pursue a bounty, he convinces Ned to join him. The bounty is on two cowboys who disfigured a sex worker. Since local sheriff Little Bill let them go free, the woman's peers raise the bounty themselves. After hearing that the sheriff has caught and killed Ned, Will shows up at the town saloon to take revenge. And I'm here to kill you, Little Bill, for what you did to Ned. While he's outnumbered, he's not outgunned. Against all odds, he takes down Little Bill and his deputies. The serves got nothing to do with it. I'll see you in hell with your money. Number 7. A very particular set of skills, Taken. When his daughter is kidnapped, former CIA officer Brian Mills gives the perpetrators a now often quoted warning. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. As it turns out, they really should have listened. With his impressive skill set, Brian is able to track down and capture Marco, the mob boss who sarcastically wished him good luck. Marco soon learns how far Brian will go to rescue his child. Brian straps him to a chair, puts metal rods through his legs, and electrocutes him for information. Once he has it, he flips the switch again and leaves Marco to die, a particularly unpleasant way to go. Number 6. Bloodbath at the Prom – Carrie Prom is supposed to be a fun rite of passage. But Carrie's high school tormentors turned it into a nightmare. When Carrie is elected prom queen, she thinks that her classmates finally like her. Instead, it's all a trick, set up so that her bullies can drop a bucket of pig's blood on her. In one of the most iconic scenes committed to film, Carrie snaps, unleashing her telekinetic abilities. What ensues is a bloodbath as Carrie traps and murders nearly all her peers. She also gets revenge on her tormentors when she causes their car to crash. <laughs> Number 5. Maximus Kills Commodus – Gladiator In real life, the Roman Emperor Commodus was assassinated by his wrestling partner Narcissus in his bath. But Ridley Scott's version of events is much more satisfying. There was once a dream that was Rome. You could only whisper it. Anything more than a whisper, and it would vanish. After Commodus kills Maximus' wife and son, Maximus is enslaved and becomes a gladiator. However, he becomes so popular that Commodus decides to fight him in the Colosseum. To help even the odds, Commodus stabs Maximus before the battle. However, Maximus still manages to disarm him. When Commodus pulls out a hidden knife, he's thwarted again. At least Maximus was able to use his last moments to get revenge. Go to them. Number 4. Move the Coin – X-Men First Class being a hero feels great, but it doesn't come close to the feeling of giving that special someone their just desserts. Mr. Chocolatin, this good? Feels new? 
In 1944, Nazi officer Klaus Schmidt torments Erich Lenscher in Auschwitz, killing his mother. Years later, Erich is on a quest for vengeance. Together with Xavier, he's able to subdue Schmidt, who now calls himself Sebastian Shaw. With the villain immobilized, the X-Men have won. However, Eric still wants revenge. Disregarding Xavier's pleas, Eric uses his magnetic powers to slowly force a coin through Sebastian's skull, reenacting the hellish test he was put through as a boy. We are the future. Number 3. Becoming Wrath 7. Revenge isn't always sweet. When serial killer John Doe is in custody, he baits the two detectives on his case into taking him to a secret location. The client says there are two more bodies, two more victims, hidden away. He will take Detectives Mills and Somerset to these bodies, but only Detectives Mills and Somerset, only at 6 o'clock today. Once they gather there, they receive a box containing the head of Detective David Mills' wife. While the serial killer goes into grotesque detail about how he committed the evil deed, the detective wrestles with one of the hardest decisions of his life. What's in the box? What's in the box? Should he show restraint or commit murder himself? completing John Doe's lists of seven deadly sins. Overcome with anguish, Mills can't help himself. Number 2. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya, the Princess Bride. If the moment ever presented itself, you have an awesome line ready. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Talented swordsman Inigo Montoya dreamed of the day he'd be granted the opportunity to face off against his father's killer the six-fingered Count Rugen. When the final battle commences, Inigo recites his rehearsed line over and over, reminding himself as to why he must win. Inigo Montoya, you killed my father. Prepare to die. Stop saying that! After turning the tide of the fight in a miraculous comeback, Inigo finishes Count Rugen with a last lunge. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Killing Bill – Kill Bill Volume 2 This revenge kill is right there in the movie title. After her former boss kills her husband and shoots her, the bride devises a hit list of everyone responsible. Following an extended journey that includes slicing the top of Oren Ishii's head clean off, stabbing Vernita Green with a throwing knife, and snatching the eye out of L Driver's head, the bride finally makes her way to her main target. I overreacted. After a quick sit down and chat, the bride greets Bill with the five point palm exploding heart technique, giving her ex lover approximately one minute to say goodbye. You look ready. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.